Alrighty, here we are in the car. Welcome to the video. We're in Utah, on our way to Idaho. We're in Utah, on our way to Idaho. Guess what we're doing in Idaho? We're meeting my parents! Yay! No, of course, there's, not, there's no sarcasm there at all. I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be a great time. So we just got off our flight. Welcome to the video, everybody. I am putting this up on our channel, The Electrics, so welcome to The Electrics. Um, the electrics are driving right now, but there isn't going to be a video tonight I just wanted to make a little intro because we're gonna be having Thanksgiving tomorrow So we're gonna be eating a lot of food. I don't think I'm gonna pull out the camera for Thanksgiving, but There are some places we're gonna have to visit. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna vlog good old Idaho Falls <laughs> This is where Christy came from so she's gonna show me everything around Idaho Mainly food and other stuff as well. We're gonna have a good time. So we'll take you along for the journey stay tuned next day alrighty guys so it is the next day I totally did not film for Thanksgiving we are here I forgot to mention that this is going to be since we didn't really plan our 25,000 subscriber milestone this is gonna be our 25,000 subscriber oh, it is? Okay. this is our this is our we technically had our cheat day yesterday so this is our cheat day today yeah even though it's gonna be within the span of like however long this takes. Basically, I'm just gonna take them to all the places in Idaho Falls that you cannot find anywhere else. So we are going to go to Reed's Dairy. We are going to do a fast food, re a fast food review at Arctic Circle and at Fiesta Ole. And was there some else? We're gonna go to those three. And then tonight we are going to dinner with my family to a restaurant called Cafe Sabor. And Sabor. it's- Sabor. Sabor. You got it right. And it's uh, really good Mexican food. So that's what we're doing. We're doing the classic Idaho Falls stuff. No, we are not going to Big Judd's. That's in Ashton. We're not driving that far. That's the, like the only food challenge in Idaho. That's the only food challenge. And we don't do food challenges. On and show. so basically we're just gonna enjoy the day. I'm just gonna kind of take him. I'm gonna take him to the fast food places that I grew up on. Oh so. snap, there's Eric's. It's right there. Hey, hey, hey. hey. The only place that House actually... of Hose. Is this House of Hose? House of Hose. That's the only place that it's spelled right. But yeah, so we're gonna be enjoying some food and I don't expect to film at dinner tonight. So I won't be bringing the camera because they're still kind of getting used to us with the camera. But yeah, we're gonna get some food. Ole, ole, ole. And it's like a little. So I grew up working, right? So this building right next to it is a dental office, and I used to clean those dental offices. Oh, and I'm sure you've had a lot of experiences here. Yes. So I recommend the Crispin Burritos. Crispy? Crispin. Crispin. Yes, burritos. The soft flour tacos and um, the crisp, the, the crunchy tacos. Crisp tacos? Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to get two crisp tacos? Can we get two crisp tacos? With chicken. With chicken? With chicken? Yeah. No, ground beef guacamole. No guacamole. Small chips and salsa. Can we get two crispy burritos? One soft shell taco. Actually, get two soft shell. Actually, two of those, please. And I think that's gonna be it. Uh, um, and it comes in this bag. They serve ketchup, which is super strange to me. In a packet. Which I mean. Yeah, whatever. This is not Taco Bell, people. <laughs> I actually really like this because it's not like fast food. Oh, snap, this is actually really cool. Um, it's they not have, like, Taco salsa, Bell. Their own salsa packet. They put Brandon. like all the salsa in here, which is really cool. This is stop number So one. when you go inside, you can self-serve this. And then their chips come in here. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, those right. are the crispy burritos. These are burritos? Yeah, a crispy burrito. This does not look like a burrito. Yeah, it looks is, like a taquito. This is what a crispy burrito. Oh, snap, like, man. Yeah. That looks awesome. So that that does not look like any burrito mm, I've ever had in my life. So um hopefully you won't destroy this rental car. And then this is just their crunchy taco. It's a crunchy taco. That looks exactly like a Taco Bell taco. I just love like the wrapping in this. It's just fun. And then this is what a soft... Soft taco. Yep, this that's is exactly what like, they look like. This is apparently like your... This is what is... This is what I grew up on. This is soft, my favorite. The soft tacos right the there? The soft taco. And what's what's in here? Just ground beef? It's gonna be ground beef, cheese, lettuce, 
No, you'll be fine. I'm just like worried. Last time we had sauce in here, you spilled it everywhere. I'm not gonna spill it again. Okay. So I'm actually really curious to see. Let's try this out. I'm gonna do it without. I like ketchup. Of course you do with the ketchup. Ready? Cheers. I got a ton of lettuce. I like them. They don't go skimpy on the meat and they don't go skimpy on the veggies. I'll show you a little trick, ready? There we go. So that's what the inside really looks like. It's delicious. Okay, now I get the it. The way they season it. Wow, wow. That destroys Taco Bell. Right? And I'm not using Taco Bell as like the main, you know, comparison here. I've had, I grew up 20 miles away from the border, I know what authentic Mexican food tastes like. But. Like, this is what my dad would bring us, like, if my mom was out and my dad was in charge of feeding us kids, like, he'd bring us home fiesta for, like, Saturday afternoon or whatever. Solid in Mexican place right here. I, I don't know if I've ever had their chips and salsa. Mmm. Oh, that's not good. I like their chips. They're cafe, grainy. Wait until cafe support tonight. Like their chips and salsa are very, very good. I like their I like their chips. I like grainy tortilla chips. Wow. I'm really glad that you're so impressed. Yay! I yeah. knew you'd like it. This is really good. Um I'm I'm blown away. I don't really know. <laughs> like I could just sit here and eat chips and salsa for the rest of my life. We like chips and salsa. When we were in Texas, we ate a lot of chips and salsa. We're kind of chips and salsa snobs. Like we know what we like. Yeah, I'm in more of like a food just moment right now, so I can't really think of anything. But it's gonna get better. Just wait until we get into the crisp tacos. The crispy burritos are my absolute favorite. Now. We got enough lettuce here. I actually usually get my tacos without sour cream, but this is their crisp taco, you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's This is a crispy, crispy taco. taco. You gotta eat it. Mm -hmm. Half your face is in the frame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay, she's still learning, all right? She's still learning. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Wow. They kill it. That's really, really good. It's just the way that they season the beef. I'm telling you, you cannot get tacos like this anywhere. Like Taco Bell, like nothing, like nothing beats Fiesta Ole. Fiesta Ole is so good. Yeah, I'm I'm thoroughly impressed with how they season it. Like no. So these, I'm extremely excited these, about. These, I put ketchup. I have to use. I do ketchup. This is gonna be a fallical moment. Just smiles. What is in here? Like show. It's beans. It's, there's beans it's re, in here. It's it looks like beans. there's. It's refried. It beans. looks like a taquito. Oh my goodness gracious! Woo! Oh my goodness! Try it with ketchup. It's even better. Trust me. Oh my goodness. We're gonna put it up. Oh my goodness. I can't even believe what just happened right now. Oh my goodness, that's, uh. Oh my goodness, guys. That is amazing. That is. It's refried beans in a soft flour taco shell. Deep fried. Oh my gosh. Is that not just amazing? I told him. Oh my, I can't even begin, I can't. Oh my god, I, I, that's all I can think about right now is just the amazingness of this. Oh my goodness. These are, that was absolutely amazing. That's why everybody was mad when we left the house. I was like, we're going to Fiesta Ole. They were like, without us? I was like, sorry. All right, everybody. So that, that Fiesta Ole for me, I'm gonna have to give it, I'm gonna say it's gonna have to be a, it's gonna have to be a nine out of 10. We started off the day very, very strong. So where are we, where are we going next? We are gonna go to Arctic Circle next. And then we are going to end the day with Reed's Dairy. It's only going to get better and better. So. <sighs> we're, gonna, we're gonna snack on the chips on the way over. I am. I put the sauce back in the bag. All right. Later.
picked up later that same evening. Alrighty, All so right. we are here and yeah, it took us about 20 minutes to get into it. So what is it first? This is a above the rim. This is their infamous above the rim shakes, as you can see. It's it has a above the rim. On top. A Nilla wafer. Well, they all come with different decorations on top, but I got my favorite, which is a marshmallow. That's your favorite word, by the way, on this channel. It's if it's so good, it means it's so good. It's my seal of approval. Let me try it first. It's and this is so. This is a marshmallow this shake. This is a marshmallow shake. Mm. Tastes like a vanilla shake to me. I don't know how it's a marshmallow. You didn't get to marshmallow, babe. Oh. Let's try, uh, let's try again. Still tastes like a vanilla shake to me. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that's good. It's like, a, it, this is to me, it's like Dairy Queen. It's way better than Dairy Queen. You Do you want the cookie? You want it? You have half, I'll have half. Compromise, people. It's all about compromise. Much better with the with the Nilla waiver. I mean, it's basically we're about to go to Reed's Dairy anyway, so I know Reed's Dairy ice cream is way we better, but we had to get an get an above the rim shake, and we also got it was a twist cone. I don't know. If yeah, gonna... that's 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 a fail. That's a mega yeah, fail. Yeah, it was a fail. Like she had to put it in a cup. I feel like we should probably try it anyways. <laughs> I'm not impressed. There you go. So this is their actual. This is basically, it's, it's still This is like cream. their infamous, like, twist cone. The chocolate's good. Chocolate's very good. It was like, it was so soft that she... Let me try the vanilla. It was so soft that she was like, well, do you want to put it in the cup? Yeah. I thought she was going to put it in the cup facing up so we could just take it out, but apparently not. It's um, really good soft serve. When I was a kid, they used to give free cones with your um, like meal or whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's good. I like I like this more than the shake. Oh really? Oh no, mm. the shake is so good. Now this is what we all love. That's what I love. Sweet potato fries are my favorite thing in the world. Like fry in the world. Do you need ketchup? Apparently, you like fry sauce. Oh, the famous fry sauce. We need to get into oh, wow. it. Where's the famous fry sauce? Hold well, on, let me move that cheeseburger. It's in there somewhere. These are really good. These are actually crispy. I like these. You do? Good. Yeah, these good. So, fry sauce came from the infamous fry sauce. Now, we did have that with Raisin Cane's, didn't we? Yeah, but it came it came from Arctic's. So where are them what fry sauce is again? It is ketchup and mayo. Mayo chip. Yep. There it is right there. Fry sauce. Go ahead and dip your sweet potato fries in fry sauce. And try this again. Their sweet potato fries are really good. They are good. I still can't get in the fry they can't get you don't, in the fry you sauce. You don't like the fry sauce? No. I like sweet potato fries. This with, is this is really good on burgers. Oh, I can think so. I can, I can, I can think that. Yeah, some chub fries are very good. Now, when it comes to sweet potato fries, you need ketchup. This is what you got to deal with sweet potato fries. You put ketchup on them. I don't trust you with doing sauces and holding things. Like, remember the raisin thing. Go ahead. It's all the. Make sure to do a little flashback. Well, I'm just gonna say, if you guys want to see that moment, you guys go watch Babe, the McDonald's. Dip your fry. Meanwhile, Eric becomes obese. Okay. Now I taste the marshmallow more. Can you hang? Mmm. Now that, my friends and family. Will you help me? No. I what? spilled. Where'd you spill that? Oh, I think I got it. Okay. It's not a glorious no, uh, job, guys. Yeah. Do you, do you know? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, this no. I already did what I needed to do. Mm, better. It's crazy because it's 40 degrees outside and we're eating ice cream. Oh, we're going to go get Reed's. Okay. What? Oh. They love when I do that. They love when you do that to me too. I know. Okay, let's get into the burgers. So we got a cheeseburger. Oh my goodness. How much 
Oh, show them the, you have to show them the inside. That is, so that's what we have. That looks like a- Do you wanna take that pickle off? Take probably. Let me, hold on, let me just fix this up. We're not only gonna take the pickle off, but we are going to, oh my goodness, they put two on there. No, that's great. Nope, you gotta experience it. Oh, just great. Like that. So they are famous for their Angus beef. Do you wanna put some fry sauce on it? No. Absolutely not. So that is a normal burger, and this is a cheese burger. cheese burger right here. Can you catch it with a ketchup? Here you go. Cheers. I like them. They're better than In N Out. Not as good as Five Guys, but. I'm trying to think of like a similar. Burger. They're similar to In-N-Out. I don't think they are. In-N-Out's buns are drastically different. I think their patties are, they're thin like In-N-Out's patties are. You, so you have that, but, huh. It's it's good. It's a good burger. It's very good. I'm sorry, yeah. so not as. Fiesta Olay. Killed it. <laughs> yes, they've, they've, they've killed it, but our last destination. It's dairy. We'll probably end up killing it, but who knows. So if you guys are still here, still with the flow of the video, what should they comment down below? I'm actually doing this on this channel now. Comment below Fiesta. 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 Now it's on to our next destination. Two hours later. Reed's. My famous Reed's Jerry. So this is the. Cake batter. This is get? pralines and cream with a waffle cone bowl. This Reed's Dairy is the most famous ice cream place in Idaho Falls. I grew up on this. Um, they are iconic. They are local here, but they do ship to other places in Idaho. I don't think they ship to Utah yet, but this is the most famous ice cream place in Idaho Falls. It is the best ice cream. We also are going to review their chocolate milk. Their chocolate milk is your where I'm actually milk is looking amazing. forward to that the most. If I can get this stupid light to work. Trying to get some lighting going on here. Their chocolate milk is super, super famous, and we also got cheese curds. So Which, I'm really excited to. Are we gonna try those or no? Yeah, we're totally gonna try those. Okay, so. Go ahead and dig into ice cream. Well, actually, I should probably. T I'm gonna get a lot of crap if I spoon this. I should bite it. Yeah, just bite it. You should be actually look at me like suggestively as I bite this. Mmm. <laughs> That is good. Really? Yeah. That is really, really good. Mine's gonna be better. Is it? What did you get again? It's pralines and cream, so it's caramel, pralines, and then a really creamy vanilla ice cream. Wow. You can actually taste the, just like the thickness of this. There's like, this ice cream is so high quality. All of the cows are behind the ice cream store, like after we Living review this, I'm gonna take him down so we can go see the baby cows. They're so cute. Wow, that is really, really good. And they hand, um, they home make their waffle cones. Like they make those fresh every day. Oh, really? Yeah, so they have like a waffle cone maker. Wanna try mine? Mine's really good. I don't think I've ever actually had pralines of cream before. Wow. That's really good. I like mine better though. I mean, I, I'm more of just blown away at like how good the actual like consistency is of the ice cream. It's, you can tell it's very like, it's authentic. It's very. It's not um, like you can see like around like where they make the ice cream. Like it's. I'll tell you what guys, a lot of people are gonna watch these videos and be like, Eric, we don't care about. You wanna know a fun fact? I know the people who own this place. Like the, we all went to the same church growing up. It's famous. Uh -huh. So like I was saying, uh, a lot of people watch, are gonna watch this and go, Eric, we don't care about this place. Go eat some Baskin Robbins, go eat some Ben and Jerry's. No. People, this is, this is why I really enjoy this channel and why I'm so stoked about the 25K we hit because like being able to go around and do this is super cool. And just kind of just enjoying actual local stuff and like we had our fun, We're, we'll do fast food stuff too, but like this is what I really enjoy about like traveling, is going and seeing and visiting different places. Like, there we go. like look at that caramel swirl, it's just so good. 
So, I mean, I'm a huge fan of this place. I mean, this is good. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in disbelief right now. It's delicious, huh? There's a lot of kids here. That's why we're not having kids. Anytime soon. Anytime soon. A lot of family time. I'm really glad we got here when we did, because now there is a line like through the entire store. Of screaming children. Of screaming children. Look at the cars. Looks like he got done milking the cows. Jeez. He's a factory worker. You don't want to stop. Uh oh. I actually want to try a bite of the waffle cone. It's going to taste like a waffle cone. The waffle cone, cone is delicious. It's solid. But what I do want to try. So now, this is made with oat flakes. No. Oat flakes? What is Idaho known for? Oh, potato flakes, I'm sorry. Potato flakes. Potato flakes. And this is super thick, apparently. Don't just like sip it, like actually like take a drink. Just, just take a drink, just trust me. I wanna see what the consistency of it looks like. I mean, it tastes like chocolate milk. Take another sip. I'm sorry, I, I just, I'm not like a chocolate milk connoisseur. It is very good. It is good. I mean, I was expecting a little. I talked it up. I mean, it's good. I mean, it's it's uh, like I don't I don't drink chocolate milk wanna, too often. I want to shake it and have you try it one more time. Okay, that makes a difference. I think. I think it was just all settled at the bottom. Wow. Yeah. So let's try that again. You just shook it. Eric, here, try some chocolate milk. <laughs> we're not, we're not cutting know, anything out. I know, just go. First reactions mean everything. I mean, yeah, uh, that, oh. I don't know why, why that made such a huge difference. But guys, yeah, this is. You can see it's like really thick and rich and creamy. Yeah. And just like. I, I like it, it's good. Impressed? It's better than any Nesquik I've ever had, for sure. So now we have cheese. I'm gonna try. One little curd. Yeah, cheese curd. Last curd of cheese mm -hmm. I had was on poutine in a poutine eating contest like two years ago. This cheese is delicious. It's actually not bad. Maybe it just tastes like cheese. Is that that's cheddar? Mm -hmm. Well, everybody, we hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Like I said, we just wanted to put something up for 25,000 subscribers, so. And it's fun that we gotta do it in my hometown. Yeah, we're in our hometown. We're gonna fly out in two days. So we'll be back in San Diego. So if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to let us know down in the comments below. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to let us know down in the comments where you want us to go next, what you wanna see on this channel. We love you guys very much. We'll be back with another video. The Electrics.